Assessing neck rotation is actually very simple. Um, I would have you start up with your camera at about uh, head to chest height, maybe um, focused right at the neck is good. Make sure that your frame has the entire head as well as the entire upper body from maybe like mid chest and up. Um, the actual act of doing the test is not that hard. The hardest, most difficult part is gonna be finding the landmark that you're gonna use as our cut score for passing or failing. To do that, you're just gonna take your fingers and you're gonna follow your collarbone away from your sternum, your breastbone, all the way out towards your shoulder. You're gonna do it once just to feel the whole shape of the collarbone. Notice that it starts kind of parallel with the chest here and goes as you go laterally, it pretty much stays flat. And then about halfway or maybe a third of the way, it starts taking a dive and going back that way behind you. So it starts pointing backwards, right? And then eventually after that dip happens, it'll flatten back out and go forward and then stop right here at the shoulder blade, right? What we're looking for is where it starts to go back. We're going to follow it all the way down. And then when it changes directions again and starts to go back that way, we're going to stop. So it's at the deepest part of the dip, if that makes sense. Okay. So you're going to mark that with your finger. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn 90 degrees so that what you just, the, the shoulder that you're testing this side is towards the camera. So now I have my landmark finger here. Hopefully your camera can see it. And then what I'm gonna do is turn towards my, or towards the camera as far as I can. And I'm gonna try and line up my nose with the tip of my finger right on that, that turn in the collarbone. Now I don't think I'm quite passing. I think I'm pretty tight today. Um, so I would fail, but one of the most common things that I see people try and do to kind of squeak out some extra range is they get all the way here and then they try and lean back into it. And that is a cheat and it's not a passing thing. So again, head upright, head not leaning, try to um, go as far as you can, try and rotate as far as you can, pause, and then come back to neutral, obviously test both sides. So passing is hitting or beating, getting past your finger marker uh, without leaning, and a not pass is leaning or not, pass, not getting past that point. If you're not sure if you've passed, please save your video and then mark unsure on your assessment sheet that you've gotten. And then, um, of course, feel free to reach out to us and we can help you solve this problem.